Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan here with the Valentine's Day tutorial that I did on my sister Rebecca. It is a pink and to taupe smoky eye with a neutral lip and flawless skin. Hope you enjoy! First off, to prep the skin, I'm using the Urban Decay B6 spray. And moving right on to primer, to prime the skin, I'm using the Smashbox CC Cream in Fair, and I'm just working that into the skin with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Of course, you could leave the skin here because this is a medium coverage, but I am moving on to some foundation. I'm using the Smashbox Liquid Halo in shade 2, which is slightly dark for her skin tone, but mixed into the Fair um, of the CC Cream, it's just going to blend very nicely. And of course, just blending away. Next, moving on to concealer. This is the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer in shade Ivory. I'm putting that under her eyes, around the nose, and anywhere else on the face that I want to highlight a little bit and conceal. And I'm blending this in with the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques as well. To set the skin in place, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. This is on the Real Techniques Retractable Bronzer Brush. I'm just sweeping that all over the skin to set everything and to add a little bit of luminosity to the look. And to bronze up the skin, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze in Tantric. I'm using this to shape the face a little bit under the cheekbones, and then I'm just going to add that a little bit to the hairline and down the jaw. This is just going to warm up the skin, um, but not make her look overly tanned. For blush, I'm using the Cargo Water Resistant Blush in Bali, and I'm just going to place this right on the apples of the cheeks. Not too much because I don't want it to be too pink, but just enough to give her a little bit of color. Keeping it luxe today using the Light Show Highlighter from Marc Jacobs. On a Smashbox fan brush, I am just sweeping this over the cheekbones, down the center of the face, and on the cupid's bow just to bring those areas forward a little bit. And just under the eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of the Bare Minerals Well Rested on the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques, just to make sure that area is really well covered. To prime the eyes, I'm using the Cargo Primer, and I'm just sweeping that on with my fingers and moving on to the eyebrows. For the brows, I'm using two colors from the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to show in just a moment. I'm just filling these in a bit darker than they naturally are because Rebecca does color her hair dark. On the Real Techniques shader brush, I'm just taking that same blush color and I'm putting that all over the first two-thirds of her eyelid. I really love using blush as eyeshadow because that gives it a really natural look. To define the eye, I'm using the Smashbox Full Exposure palette, which is currently my baby. I'm using the two cooler tone shadows to the left of the black and putting that on the outer V and into the crease. I'm just slowly building up this color and blending as I go. I'm not trying to make it overly dark, but I am going for a smoky look. This is the brush that comes with the palette. It's very similar to a MAC 217 brush, and it's great for blending. I'm doing the same on the other eye, just deepening that V a little bit and blending it out. With a look like this, blending is very important. Don't get frustrated, just keep blending and blending and blending until you get the look exactly how you want it. Now I'm just taking the Champagne Glitter color from the Smashbox palette, and layering that over top of the pink part of the eyes where I put the blush earlier. And now I'm just going to add a tiny bit more of the dark shadow onto the outer corner to make sure it is as dark as I want it. And just giving everything one final blend together to make sure it is all seamless. Using the same two darker shades from the palette, I'm putting those on a small angled brush and just dragging that across her lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take the other side of the brush that came with the palette and blend it all out to make sure it's not too harsh. To highlight under the brow bone and in the tear duct area, I'm using the lightest shimmer shade from the Smashbox palette and really blending that in and not putting too much on because I really want this to look more like her skin rather than part of the eyeshadow. To line the eyes, I'm using my favorite pencil. This is the Smashbox Sumatra Always Sharp Pencil. And I'm not being too careful with this, just kind of smudging it into the lashes because I will be blending it out later. And I'm also going to take this on the inside waterline of the eye. To soften that liner out, I'm going to use a little bit of matte black shadow on an angled brush and just smudge that around to make sure it's nice and diffused. To brighten the eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Kajal in Nude and just run that along the inner rim of the lower lash line. Here I'm just taking the concealer brush I used earlier and blending away any fallout and moving on to mascara. 
This first mascara that I'm using is the Tightline Mascara from IT Cosmetics. This kind of helps to really get into the roots of the lashes. And then I'm moving on to the Urban Decay Curling Mascara and just doing my thing with the mascara. And finally, we're moving on to lips. I'm going to be using a combination. First is the Cargo Lipstick in Dubai. Just applying this like I would on anybody, following the natural lip line, not doing anything special. And then I'm layering the Stila Lip Glaze in Strawberry Cream over top of that to lighten up the color and add some shine. And lastly, I'm just giving her skin one final blend to make sure everything is smooth and perfect. Here is the final look. It is soft and subtle, perfect for Valentine's Day. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like my video, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out his Twitter and Instagram, both at John John Talks. Bye! Top quality stationery emblazoned, SAT word, with all of your grandfather's favorite things. What did my grandfather like? Do you know? This is also classily packaged. Hi. Sister, sister!